Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belle, and today's life lesson learned is from Jarvis, and Jarvis is the name of my little silver Prius. I just came from the doctors, and now I'm waiting for my mom at Walmart, and I'm like, hey, why not film life lesson learned from my car today, you know? So, I just came from the doctors, like I said, and like last week I talked about my chronic voice loss, how I need to go to vocal therapy and all this stuff. So I go to the doctors right now, he sticks a camera in my ears, he sticks a camera in my throat to check if everything's okay. Finally, he sticks a camera up my nose. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It feels like this weird pressure, but it's actually not that bad. 10 out of 10 would recommend. So the doctor sticks the camera up my nose. He's like, oh yeah, I see the problem. Takes the camera out and he's like, you have nodes. And I'm like, ooh. For those of you guys who watch Pitch Perfect, I felt like that girl when she finds out she has nodes and she's like, I have nodes. And everyone's like, oh. That's what I pictured in my head, like, oh no, I have nodes, like, I'm never gonna be able to sing again, I'm never gonna be able to do anything. But then the doctor's like, no, 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 everything's fine, you have nodes, but they're completely recoverable, you're just gonna have to change certain things. He starts listing off a bunch of the things that I'm gonna have to change, right, the habits. So, I can't sing, I can't whisper, I can't talk loudly, I basically can't do anything except for talking in a normal voice, and I'm on medication. And so in my head, I'm like, oh, I'll be on the medication for a couple weeks. I just won't sing. Everything's fine. And he's like, no, you're coming back during Christmas break, right? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, you're going to do everything at least until Christmas break when I see you again. And I'm like, ooh, shoot. Like, I'm not that much of a crybaby, but for some reason, that made me emotional. It was like, whoa, the last time I sang was the last time I might be singing for a while. And so now I have to go to vocal therapy twice a week, and even when I go back to Rhode Island, I'm gonna have to still keep doing vocal therapy, and my doctor is gonna tell me whether or not I can start singing, and when, and how I can start singing. But just the thought that like I'm not gonna be able to do something that I love to do so much was very scary. It was like, God, why is this happening to me? Why now? I'm about to go into my second year as a worship major at my school. My doctor's was like a good distance away and so I had time to just sit in the car and just think. The first thing that came into my mind when I was trying to kind of process through this and organize it was I have just entered into a new season now that I know that I have notes. I'm at the beginning of this and right now I can set certain goals and I can make certain decisions that will impact my whole season. Get out of that like, oh why me God, why me God? And focus a lot more in what can I take out of this? What is God trying to show me? What is the lesson in all of this? It could be that God's trying to get me to talk less and listen more. It could be that God is trying to get me to write more. This season could, could bring out a million and one things. <laughs> There's a person right there. People are like walking by and like watching me talk to my camera. It's great. So my second thought was I need to change my habits. The doctor gave me a list of things, a list of foods that I have to look out for. Things that I love a lot like spicy food coffee I have to start looking out for and seeing how those things affect my voice I have to start changing my sleeping habits I have to change my water intake stepping into this season I'm deciding I will do everything in my capacity to make sure I stick to these habit changes and that I stick to exactly what the doctor has prescribed for me I refuse to skip a day and I'm choosing this because I want to get through this season as soon as possible and as easy as I can make this on myself I will and if that means not singing for months I won't sing for months because my third thought in all of this is what is God trying to teach me because in my shameless plug in my video about knowing your season I talk about how every season is preparing you for something so my thought is, okay, God, why am I going through this season of silence? What are you trying to prepare me for? Because a lot of times we only think about the now. Like, oh man, I'm about to enter into my second year of being a worship major at my school, not being able to sing, not being able to use my voice to what I'm there for. What is the point? But in reality, God is always working behind the scenes and there's always a purpose that we may not see. So there's a long-term effect in this that I may not be seeing. One of the conclusions I came to is that Maybe God is allowing this drastic situation in order to get me to do something that he's been trying to get me to do for a very long time. If I'm a worship major at my school, if leading worship is something that is my life that I love doing, if speaking, you know, preaching to my junior high kids and doing that is something that I'm so passionate about, then I need to care for my vocal cords. I need 
to go the extra mile and the extra 10 miles in order to care for this. And I feel like God allows drastic situations sometimes to wake us up to reality of, hey, if you want to use this for my kingdom, then you got to care for it. You can't just treat it like nothing. You can't just kind of throw it around and hope for the best. No, you have to care for this. Caring for my voice and having vocal therapy and vocal lessons is something that I should have been doing for a very long time that I didn't do. I kept pushing it off because it costs money. I kept pushing it off because because I don't have enough time for it and now I have nodes and I have no option but to go through vocal therapy but to have vocal lessons and now I'm forced to go through these months of no singing in order to properly care for something if I want to use it in the future this is a life lesson learned that I'm beginning to learn and it's a journey and it's a season that I'm walking into that I will have documented on my YouTube which is pretty cool it's a season that I'm embracing that I'm beginning and I'm actually very excited to see what God brings out of this. Choose not to see your situation in all of its bad. Choose not to see what you feel like is being taken from you. Choose to see the bright side of it. Choose to see what good can come out of this and what good will come out of this season. And so I will definitely be documenting my experience, right? And my process of changing my habits and how these nodes are doing. My little buddies now that live inside of my throat. I will take you guys along with me in this. And so I hope that this was encouraging to you if you feel like you're walking into a new season without really understanding why. So yeah, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much like and subscribe and all that stuff so that you don't miss out next week's life lesson learn video and I have a vlog coming out for you guys of my past weekend when my friends from Jersey surprised me and then I ended up going to Jersey I vlogged everything and I'm editing it and it'll go up either Wednesday so tomorrow or Thursday so keep an eye out for that I love you guys a lot thank you for watching and deuce